here. Let's see, there's always a right way, a wrong way to do something. Generally, I just do it my way. Oh, hello. Yes, I'm the one, the only Hobo Tom, part of the Hobo and Girlfriend wrestling page. Right now, I'm roughing my friend blue shirt. It was a Macho Man shirt. I had to get washed. Yeah, it happens. And I'm taking my NXT shirt for Thursday. When NXT comes here today to the beach. And that should be interesting. I have no idea what level of show that's going to be. And I know because they're going live. There we go. Let's try and center myself. There we go. That Orson meme. You want to center yourself. Yeah. Yeah, that's an that's probably, I don't know, it might be now an archaic reference. Wow. I'm old. And I'll definitely let everyone know, you guys in the YouTube universe, know what's going on with NXT. I had a good question to a friend. And I said, what's going to happen to host shows? Mainly because do you think Kevin Owens will actually come to Daytona Beach? so. Um, also, with the other bigger talent, you think Johnny Gargano really wants to show up here in Daytona Beach of all places? He has in the past, but back then he was not even the NXT Tag Team Champion. So, you never know. But enough about that pure speculation. speculation. I just have to get used to hearing my voice in real time. I'm normally used to a couple second delay. And yeah, my video programs, they're not the best. I clearly admit that. But let's talk about some SmackDown instead. So this was, I don't know, it was a quick show. A few wrestling matches. A couple segments. They did the kind of weird main event segment. I'll get to that. But it starts off really with wrestling. I, I I'll be honest, I missed the two, first two minutes. My guess is there was the intro, and then there was probably the New Day recap, mainly what happened to Kofi Kingston retaining his belt at Clash of Champions. Or Night of Champions. I'm, I still don't know which one's which. I'm so confused. I'm stuck in the past. I'm archaic. I still use calculators. I use watches instead of cell phones. I don't know. I'm just old. I'm going to be old Tom, too. That reminds me. I have a show to do. Oh, I have to figure out that card. For Halloween. Or should I do one for Columbus Day, too? I'll let you guys decide. Let me know if you want to see two WWE 2K17 shows. Mainly of that of the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. Columbus Day, because I think I have off that day. And definitely for Halloween, though. Because if not, I have to make Christopher Columbus or Chris Columbus. Maybe just call him Columbus. And I always have the Techno Blue Ranger. So actually, I started doing this. Now that I think about it, a year ago. Whoa. I've been on YouTube for, well, more than a year. That's impressive. But. I'm getting off track. This is why I need someone to fill the seat. Right, sweetie? Oh, wait, there's no one there. So I can stay on track and be focused. Uh, so it starts off really the New Day versus the Revival and Randy Orton. I guess they're going to keep this going. Uh, the New Days, they do good tag team work. Until Randy Orton gets in for the first time. Then there's a commercial. Revival, classic heel tag team work. Can never fault them for that. Uh, they go after Xavier Woods' bad knee. Smart. And even commentary realizes that that's smart to do. Put there. Let's feel forward. I don't know. I'll get used to these eventually. I'm going to hold off getting that new lapel mic. So I start going live stream again. 
in 74 days. Well, wow. they don't have the properties of putting you to sleep, though. I it's the hour. I did goof off for a little bit. But when well, I should be making videos, and then I could have gotten more sleep. Oh, well, tough for me. Tomorrow I have to do that. Yeah, that's pretty simple, though. Yeah, I have a simple outfit to wear, too. Always good to have a simple outfit. Um, but with this, uh, again, Revival is just so good. I love their tag team mark. Uh, Randy Orton used the modified Indian Deathlock. Oh, was that Dash or, or Dawson? I don't know, but Xavier was got, got, got stuck into a modified Indian Deathlock, which is always cool. I remember when I first saw Chief J Strongbow use that. That was awesome. And Wahoo McDaniels used that too. So good. It just looks painful. Uh, the Kofi, Kling Kofi Kingston eventually cleans house. Uh, they do try. He does a Randy, the Ran Randy Orton kind of draping DDT out of nowhere, and then it was weird because they tried to triple team Kofi for the for the three D, the Super Three D, but for some reason they were distracted. Randy Orton was distracted by something. Oh yeah, because one of the um, New Day pulled him out of the ring. So Kofi's just being held up there. Well, why don't we just double flapjack him? That would make sense. But instead, uh, the other member of the revival gets shoved out by, I think, Xavier Woods, because he was on that side. And then Kofi Kingston hits uh, Trouble in Paradise. I think Dawson's the one who ends up eating the pin. I can't tell you of them apart. I just know that they're the revival. That has to do what um, the Brain Busters used to do, and that was like embroider their initials on like the front right or left side of their trunks. Just so you can tell who is who. Oh, did I really do that much? Did skip that nap. Oh, well. But then after their vanquish, Brock Lesnar comes out, and he's going to be the there for the first big Fox show in October, whenever that is. I forget when. Um, first uh, Friday Night SmackDown on Fox, Brock's versus Kofi Kingston. Good old-fashioned New Japan-style challenge. My client challenges you. I'm a fighting champion. I accept. Poor Kofi eats an F5 for his efforts. That should be pretty fun. Then there was an Eric Rowan interview. What about me? And I'm going to make a kind of neat title for this. And then it was Mustafa Ali versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I will always say his first name. Because that kind of goes along with the character. Because Ali's just generic. Or too generic for me. Because when, when, when you say Ali to me, I honestly think... Oh, that's a tag. I honestly think of Muhammad Ali first. We'll get to him later, too. Uh, so, Ali... And, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura comes down. It's just a destruction of Ali for, for no good purpose. Sami Zayn runs him down. I guess this was a, supposed to be a match? I don't know. It, it was a piece of toast. Oh, wait a second. I, I know I know what I forgot. The whole um, New Day revival match, that was actually pretty good. That was a cheeseburger. This thing, however, between Ali and Shinsuke Nakamura, I don't know why they're going to bo bother to bury Ali like this. This was a piece of toast. Now I got my beats down, so I just need that little sip of soda to give me a little, little sugar rush. Got to gotta Otis up. Not Hulk out, but Otis out. Talk about him, too. Wow. 
And then Kevin Owens shows up. He obviously bought a ticket. Kevin, you showed up late, though. Darn it. I hate that. I hate showing up late. Then some papers show up. Then we have a Kevin Owens and, Sh and Shane McMahon pro uh, promo. Obviously because Kevin Owens is kind of right on this. In the fact that he was acting as a WWE official, Shane cannot put his hands on him. It makes sense. So he's suing Shane McMahon for $25 million. And he'll get to say, You're fired! Like those infamous, especially the way I do it. And then it's the uh, Who is the Authors of Pain segment. Again, this show went by really quick. That was uh, Charlotte Flair woo, versus Sasha Banks. And before they went to commercial, they showed Ric Flair with his daughter Charlotte. And I'm like, oh, Ric Flair is going to make his showing. And some other guy did. I don't, I don't know who he was. He just was in like a Ric Flair robe. And I'm like, wait, you're, you're black. You're not Ric Flair. Who are you? Boo! And so Charlotte took on Sasha Banks. Um, it was kind of standard stuff. And those chops Sa Charlotte does, she learned at least something from her father. Woo! Those had some chop on them. That was a pretty. This was actually a pretty good good match. But <laughs> Charlotte's getting a a little big booty there because either that or her. her her tights are got stuck in the dryer and kind of shrunk a little bit because you saw things hanging up from the bottom. I won't complain, but you you never know. And Andrade and Mike and Charlotte will have to come into the, the caring, warm embrace of Hobo Tom. No, not happening. The Flair family's cursed. Most wrestling families are cursed. Never, never with a wrestler. Never. Sounds bad. Uh, then I was just waiting for Sasha Banks to go Yano. Oh, the previous match. New Day. I forgot to say this, too. 8 50 50 booking. But with this, so Charlotte versus Sasha, this is a little bit different. Uh, again, Charlotte. Charlotte actually used the Boston Crab or the Line Tamer because it was a little higher angle. That was good to see. Uh, whenever when Charlotte threw Sasha out, she kind of like slid out the ring. Funny, you could see panty pops. I don't know. I know the ring for the most part somewhat. The ring canvas is somewhat smooth. I don't know why they wear pants. Though. That was the one thing that granted the men actually shave their legs. Still wear the little trunks. They have the option to wear pants. I don't know. Whatever. It's just one of those weird, weird things. And a wardrobe malfunction. I don't know. Uh, that's just pure ridiculousness coming out of my mouth. Uh, then Charlotte hit that moonsault. It still looks good when she does the backflip. Now that I know the secret to doing backflips from watching Fight Perfect, boom, son. Give them a little shout out. Actually, I, I would like to get get that boom, son shirt one day when I get a real job. And I can get my Macho Man shirt, too. I do have to get my nephew's OVE shirt. I have to order it eventually. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just distracted. The moonsault was good, though. She landed on her feet, though. Um, which is a safe way to do it. But it was, especially on that second camera angle, you're like, she just landed on her feet and the, the two collapsed. So it was, it was okay. Uh, eventually, Charlotte put Sasha into the figure four, going to the figure eight. Bailey jumped in, broke that up. We got to sell the death. 
bere bere honey bere sweetie you gotta learn how to be a heel you don't heal up good first of all let me say this bere you learn from yano if you're gonna learn from yano you better be a, a dirty trickster and hit people with stuff like like tumbuckle pads and and ring bells and hammers and stuff like that. And you have to learn how to swing a kendo stick properly. Can't be afraid of that little stick. And and just a little advice from the dusty one himself. When I'm, when I'm up here in heaven, channeling myself through the hobo, your forehead's too smooth. You gotta bleed. So this was as I channel the spirit of Dusty Rhodes, I ham sandwich of a match. But then Carmella came in to save Charlotte. No one likes Becky and, Sh and Sasha, or um, not Becky, but Bailey and Sasha. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe they're tired of them too. Then we have the coronation of, of King. Corbin! All hail King Corbin. All hail King Corbin. But unfortunately, he called out Chad Gable. The king is dead. Long live the king. Because Chad Gable, we saw how long this would last. Um, did not last long. He beat up King Corbin, destroyed the robe, destroyed the throne. In one shot, he destroyed the scepter, which was kind of amazing. He crushed the crown. All the plastic jewels came off of it. I don't know where they got this stuff from. They have to go back to at least something that looks more realistic. Or a little something sturdier. And uh, then we had, I guess in the main event wrestling match, we had Heavy Machinery versus the B-Team. And Otis! It says so much beef. Otis is now supporting Trunks. He looks almost like a bearded, long haired, older American dream Dusty Rhodes. I was proud of him, son. So that smooth belly. But Otis, again, the problem is, son, your forehead's too smooth. You gotta, you gotta bleed it. You gotta bleed. Crowd needs some juice, baby. Gotta get some scars up there. Then you look tough. Uh, but Tucker, Tucker Knight, I mean, he is an amazing collegiate style of wrestling. It's so enjoyable. B team, they're good at, at double team stuff. Um, I would like to see Bo Dallas join the Fiend sometime. Heck, he could even bring bring. Curtis Axel along too for the ride. Uh, Otis is just funny though. He doesn't stop talking, and you know this was a short match because he did his all. Uh, he did the caterpillar. Blah, 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 blah. I can't even do it right. And then he dropped the big elbow to finish off the caterpillar, which is pretty cool. Uh, then they hit the compactor on Bo Dallas. The uh, Tucky Knight kicked. Chris Axel out of the ring. Hit the compactor. Heavy Machinery win. Hey, I like tag team matches. I like Heavy Machinery. This is a cheeseburger match. Then the uh, closing segment, the, the main event segment. and I don't like it when they have... I know it took place in the ring, so it was so it did feel like a main event, but I'm not a big fan of non main event main events. I know that doesn't make sense, but if you're just gonna have Daniel Bryan come out, I saw Rowan, he knows the one thing I hate is liars. And Rowan comes out to new music. He doesn't beat up Daniel Bryan. Harper kills Daniel Bryan. <laughs> wow, did, he, did Daniel Bryan ever sell? Then Roman Reigns came running down. They beat up Roman Reigns too. And they put Daniel Bryan through a table. 
which was pretty. <laughs> and they killed poor Tom Phillips too. Tom Phillips, I hope you do good there. Hope you're not in any local medical facility. So I'll tell you what, they, they tossed him while he was in his chair, and he, and he was he was out a half second too late. And wow, that was the end of him. So they and they and they killed they killed Daniel Bryan because they put him through a table. You know, when he's covered up, he's like, oh, that table felt so good. I can do this again. And that was SmackDown. Again, a really quick feeling show. And tomorrow, because NXT is going to be on TV, I actually. Who am I? Yeah, I am. Actually, going to cover NXT and do a review of that. Because I think I've only seen one NXT show that's been televised. And that's when they did it a long time ago on USA Network. I just said. Nah. But since it's on TV, I'll watch it. I have nothing else better to do to watch TV. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the only other show that I'd like on Wednesday is not showing anymore for a while. Fortune Fire is pretty cool. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see which has better ratings, Fortune Fire or NXT. But that's SmackDown. So, actually, this week, it's and next week, it, yes, it's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, because I have uh, an NXT house show. Friday, five days I'm doing this. Whoa. Uh, Impact Friday, then, then I relax Saturday, Sunday, and get back to this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Off Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So oh, that's not too bad. So I shall see everyone later again. Thanks to all those who watch again. Always leave a comment, like, share, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.